the structure was criticized by many and in some circles referred to as the purple people eater. But multi city travel typically involves a number of hotel rooms and a great deal of lugging hauling. Nice Each job. Time. Good job. Let me go back down to June. Thanks, Makiko. Uh, one very bright University of Las Vegas architecture student is proposing a better way. He is devising a plan for movable rooms that travel from that sorry that travel from city to city via a hyperloop transport system. Good job, Paolo. Mm -hmm. His name is Brandon Sidbrecht. Sidbrecht. I don't know how to pronounce this. And he calls him and he calls his concept the Hyperloop Hotel. The plan calls for transforming cargo containers into well-appointed accommodation, accommodations complete with Very the good. office. Mikiko? Oh, it's a continuation. Office, sleeping and living areas, bathroom, flat screen TVs, and of course, Wi-Fi. The 13 cities along its travel route include LA, New York, Chicago, and Austin. Great, George. A flat, a flat room and transit fee of about $1,200 is imagined at this time. But uh, there, I cannot see that one. There's a lot of time for that to change as the mode of transportation. Good job, Everton. The super fast nationwide Hyperloop system does not exist yet. Nonetheless, Sibra's proposal earned him the top prize in the annual Radical Innovation Competition. Nice job, very good. Uh, don't worry, Clara, we'll get you a little bit later. Okay, let me go back to the beginning, starting with June. Not all neighbors. Not all neighbors. Can be tricky. Can be tricky. Good, get that K. Can be tricky. Can be tricky. Good. Now this section here, June, the grammar is wrong. So you have two choices. Two, ma two ways to fix the grammar. What do you want to do? I, I prefer uh, add the article. Good. Such a fraught relationship. So with this one more time, such a fraught relationship. Such a fraught relationship. Good. And what's the other way we can fix the grammar? Um, like, uh, yes, uh, uh, make a plural, I guess. Exactly right. So now do the plural style. Okay, such for our relationships. Excellent job, excellent job. So once again, uh, <laughs> I, was a, I, I did a lot of narration work for TV and videos, and I was amazed some American voice artists are computer programs and if you give them something they read it exactly the way it is they don't care about grammar mistakes um and that used to drive me crazy so i would always tell the publisher or the producer hey the grammar's wrong here i would let them decide fix the grammar or just read it the way it is. It would drive me crazy. But there's a lot of guys, even though the grammar was wrong, they would just read it and it would make me crazy. And that's what this guy does. Even though the grammar's wrong, he reads it and it drives me crazy. But I love it because it's really good for my ESL students. You guys get to see, yeah, yeah. hmm, something's wrong and fix it. Yes. 
Okay, let me go to Paolo. Is this a verb or a noun? A noun, sir. So is it an S or a Z? A Z. How's yes. House. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. So house as a noun is an S sound. House as a verb is a Z sound. Okay. Oh. The second time you you tell me that, <laughs> I know it's confusing. Sorry, coach. That's okay. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Okay, Mikiko. I know. Mikiko, do we say, oh, why did Dario leave? Mikiko, do we say in Tokyo, Japan? Or do we say in Tokyo, Japan? Tokyo, Japan. In Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo, in Japan. In Tokyo, Japan. Right. So you oh, said okay. in Squim, Washington. But keep it together. In Squim, right. Washington. In Squim, Washington. Faster, put it together. In Squim, Washington. That's right. One more time. In Squim, Washington. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, thank you. Hold on a second. I'm gonna I wonder what happened to Dario. Uh next up is uh George de Grey. Let me go to Everton. Everton, your favorite the The neighbor's field. Faster. Oh, the first one, yeah. <laughs> the most recent Google Earth. Faster. The, the most recent Google Earth. Good. The most recent Google Earth shot. The most recent Google Earth shot. Perfect. Uh, believe the neighbor's feud. Believe the neighbor's field. Feud. Feud. So uh, the pronunciation is few and then just a stop D. Feud. Feud. Good. The neighbor's feud. The neighbor's field. I'm hearing an L. I don't want the L. Feud. Oh, field. Good. And believe the neighbor's feud began. And believe the neighbor's field began. I'm still hearing an L. Feud. Field. Believe the neighbor's feud began. Believe, believe the neighbor's field began. One more time. Believe the neighbor's field began. Why am I hearing an L? Feud. Field. Oh. Oh, it's tough because when I will say the D, the tongue puts and make the oh field. Good. Let's do this. Um dude. Dude. Good. Dude. Dude. Uh. Do. 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 Mm, yeah. Uh, you. 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 Good. You. You few 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 <laughs> few you you few few you you few few you you few Field. <laughs> Terrible. One more time. Field, yeah. Oh my God. Let's do it. But field. But, okay. So one more time. You. 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 Few. Field. You. You. Few. Few. Good. You few. You few. Good. You. 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 
Feud. Feud. Yes. Try it again. Feud. No. So, Feud. Interesting, uh, no. interesting. Interesting. Fortunately, this is not a common word. Uh, but I want. I'm gonna start watching your U sounds. Okay. Okay. Please. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Not a big problem. Instead of feud, give me another word. Uh, neighbors. Oh. Uh. Intrigued? I don't know. Fight. Fight. Oh, I thought fight, but I thought that a feud, a feud a little bit different than fight. It is, but it's okay. In daily English, it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Good, good. All right, Dario, don't go away. We'll talk to you in a second, Dario. Welcome back. Let me go to Clara. Structure. Structure. The structure was criticized. The structure was criticized. Very good. Multi-city travel. Multi, multi City travel, multi-city travel. Good. So you're giving me a bit of a British pronunciation. Claire, where are you from? I'm from Hong Kong. And that tells me, yes, in Hong Kong, they tend to have a bit of a British pronunciation, don't they? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so try this. City. City. Perfect. Multi-city. Multi-city. Multi-city travel. Multi cities travel. 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 Typically involves. Typically involves. Good. So typically, we don't need to do that. We can just say typically, and it's actually like this. I'll, I'll rewrite it. So the sound is something like this. T. T. Typically, more like this. Typically, typically. Typically. Perfect. Typically. Typically involves. Typically involves. 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 Good. It's not easy, is it? Yes. Luggage hauling. Luggage hauling. Great job. Try to do this sentence one more time. Multi-city travel typically involves a number of hotel rooms and a great deal of luggage hauling. So, Clara, it sounds nice, but it doesn't sound natural. So I'm going to try to uh, help you one more time here. So we're going to really watch the tone, okay? Multi-city travel. Multi-city travel. Typically involves. Typically involves. A and B. A, A. A number, a number. A and B. A and B. Yeah, that's right. One more time. Multi-city travel typically involves A and B. Multi-city multi travel typically involves A and B. It sounds better, but once again, I'm putting things in groups, and I want you to try and keep the groups together. So one more time. Multi-city travel typically involves multi-city travel typically involves good a oh, okay good and now the next part a number of hotel rooms a number of hotel rooms try it again a number of hotel rooms a number of hotel rooms great and a great deal of luggage hauling and a great deal of ho luggage hauling good one more and a great deal of luggage hauling. And a great deal of luggage hauling. Yeah, it's not easy, is it? Yes, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> so Clara, you're, you're doing good, and I want you to keep practicing, especially if you can join the Hangouts and keep reading and practicing, okay? Okay, okay. Good. Dario might have to go. He's having a bad connection. Be strong, Dario. I hope that internet Connection stays strong. Let me go to back to June. Okay, June, we're going to practice just like with 
Clara, we're going to practice this sentence. But first of all, let's go here to the pronunciation. He's devised a plan. He's devised a plan. A plan. A plan. Good, good. And we can say D, but it's more typical to say D. He's devised a plan. He's devised a plan. Great, very good. Now, this sentence, June, what is the subject? The subject, okay, uh, what? Very bright. Yet. How do you say no in right. How do you say no in Chinese? Bushi. Bushi. Yep. Bushi. Okay. Uh, bright. Bushi. Uh, art architecture. Bushi. Or the. Uh, let me see. So you mean uh, uh, adjectives? Adjectives? No, the subject, the noun. The oh, okay, noun. the subject. Uh, student. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought it was adjective. <laughs> I, I, I misunderstand. Okay. So, one student is yeah. proposing a yeah. way. That's actually the sentence. So read just read the blue. Okay. One student is proposing a way. Excellent. All the other stuff is useless information, right? Yeah. But it needs a rhythm. So I'm going to read it, and then I want you to repeat, okay? Okay. But one very bright University of Las Vegas architecture student is proposing a better way. But. One very bright University of Las Vegas architecture student is proposing a better way. Now, I'm going to make it in groups. Now, try it again. But one very bright University of Las Vegas architecture student is proposing a better way. It sounds so much better. One more. But. One very bright University of Las Vegas architecture student is proposing a better way. Great job. And we can even break that one more time. Very good. Good job. Much better. You guys, um, it's, you know, at the bottom of the page, I say, if you can say it, you can hear it. And that includes pronunciation, but also the rhythm. So DDM is a really good chance for you guys to start practicing the rhythm of English. So when you see long sentences, this is a great time to really uh, look at how we say the sentence. It's a very good practice, okay? Okay. All right, Paolo. Uh, you had the same problem as Everton. The Niet. For sure. The hyper hyperloop. The 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 hyper for sure. The, the hyperloop. Good. You remember that rule you told us? The and the. Okay. What's I, the rule? What's the I, rule? I can't find this. I can't find this anymore. Okay. The rule is simple. So the wow. vowel and the the or the consonant. However, Perfect. consonant. Uh, however, sometimes we can say the consonant if we really want to emphasize the noun. That's possible. So we could say, usually, do we say the bank or the bank, which is correct? The bank. Right. But if we want to emphasize a particular bank, Go to the bank and then the store. We could say that. It's possible to say that, okay? Yep. So this one, how do you say it? The Hyperloop. The Hyperloop Hotel. The Hyperloop Hotel. Excellent job. Excellent job. Mikisco. All of this 
is describing areas. Okay? So, mm -hmm. well appointed areas. Well appointed areas. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Um, mm -hmm. uh, with areas. With, with areas. TH, with areas. Oh, with areas. Good. What kind of areas? Office sleeping and living areas. Don't speak like Robocop. <laughs> okay, with office sleeping and living areas. Yes, that was excellent. Very good. With office sleeping and living areas. Very good. Good job. Keep your ass bathrooms. Bath bathrooms. And how do you say this? Thirteen. Bingo. George. Is it ready? I don't. You said something different. Okay. Be careful. George, what's the subject? Uh, I think the subject is the cause. Give me about the uh, flat room. Yet, Bosher. This is the sentence. The subject is fee. So try again. A fee is imagined. Uh, which one did you want me to say? The transit, the transit fee? No, just the blue. Oh, fee. A fee is, is imagined. Good. One more time. A fee is imagined. A fee is imagined. What kind of fee? Sorry, your, your voice is breaking up. Say it again, please. I'll, I'll turn the video off. What kind of fee? A flat room and transit fee. A flat fee. A flat fee. It's a room fee, actually. Right? No, no, no. It's a room fee. No, no, no. It's not. It's a flat fee. So this is what's uh, confusing, guys. So let's say this. When you go uh, to a uh, bed and breakfast, George, have you ever been to a bed and breakfast? Yeah, many times. So, uh, what do you pay for? What when you when you pay money? What are you paying for? For the breakfast. And the bed, right? Well, well, if I stay in the hotel, yes. Yes. Okay. So, with the bed and breakfast, we have a word. Who knows what the word is? Bed and breakfast. Who knows what the uh, it's what it's called? You can go ahead. B and B. No, no, no. Oops. Room and board. Have you guys heard of the expression room and board? Mm hmm. Yes. And room and board means the bed. But I don't. And bed and food. Okay. Now, this hyper, this Hyperloop train doesn't include food, but it includes the room and transportation. And there's only one charge. Mm -hmm. They don't have first class, second class, third class. There's just one fee. So it's a flat fee. A flat fee for what? A flat room and transit fee. Does that make sense? Okay. Got it. Yes, yes, I got it. So give me this sentence one more time. A flat room and transit fee of about $1,200 is imagined at this time. Yeah, it sounds much better. Well, much better. So once again, for everybody, I'll just say it. A flat room and transit fee of about $1,200 is imagined at this time. 
So knowing how to put things together is very important. So back up here with Makiko with areas. What kind of areas? Office, sleeping, and living. With a fee. What kind of a fee? A flat fee. Oh, for what? Room and transit. Not room and board, room and transit. So understanding how these words go together is not easy, but very important for, for you guys. Okay? Okay. Everything else was great. Questions about anything. Very good job on 422. A little bit confusing, wasn't it? No questions? Oh, yes. Can I, can I make sure that the word uh, flat room and transport fees, like a charge for room and fee for from somewhere to somewhere? Is that correct? Yes. So if you buy a ticket for or uh, on the Hyperloop, right, 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 right. this is a train, right, 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 yes, yes, right, yes. right. It's Hyperloop Hotel. Yes, 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 yes. The ticket, the ticket uh, includes. Right, right, right. Ticket, ticket. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Transportation. I, I was just forgetting about what I'm talking about. The train yes. is room. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you yep. very much. Yep. So that's why room in transit. Not believe me, they'll charge a lot of money for food. Sir. Yes, sir. I could, I couldn't find the meaning of the word bearing. B a r e n bearing. It was on a on a video on YouTube about a guy who does uh, paintings in Japanese. In Japan, um, Baron. Save those questions for later, Paulo. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, B a r r e n Baron. No, no, one R. B a r. I, yeah, there's, there's. He, they spelled it wrong. It should be two R's, Baron. Oh yeah. And it means That's empty. Right. It means empty. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, those a lot of people make spelling mistakes, which is a nightmare for ESL students. Any other questions? Excuse my brain. Okay. Yes, George. Do you put rapport with dogs as well? Do you have a good rapport with dogs ex besides cats? Yes, I do actually. Do you understand? Yep, and it's a great sentence. What's oh good? So my pronunciation is correct then. Yeah, but not rapper. It should be rapport. Okay, something's going on. I don't know what the hell's happening here. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna fix it. Oh. Do you have a good rapport with dogs as well as cats? So it's not rapper. It's rapport. 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 R rapport. Good. Do you have a good rapport with dogs? Yep. Do you have a good rapport, rapport. with dogs? Oh. Do you have a good rapport with dogs? Great. Very good. Do you? Yes, I do. I have a good rapport with dogs. Do you have a good rapport with do dogs? You? Do you? Cats. But dogs are different from cats, right? Absolutely. Yeah, they, they're very different. But all animals love me. Deer love me. The what? The deer? Are deer? you kidding? No, not kidding. Chickens love me. The deer? <laughs> I love chicken. <laughs> I love chicken and I love chickens. <laughs> okay. I'm going to close this one out. I'm going to open up. Let's look at 423. Nah, I'm not going to do 423. We'll do the 424. We're just going to do the last part, though. Oh, no, no, no. 425. So before, we only did a, a section. So we'll do a different section. 
this time. Uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll start here uh, in this section. And I'll start with Cindy. Cindy, you can start us off with Jerry's line. And then Clara, Kramer, Everton, Jerry, bop, bop, bop. We'll keep going down the list. So Cindy, go ahead and start us off with Jerry's line, please. What are you out of your mind? Look at this. What did you buy here? Mm. You'll never be able to finish all this stuff. Very good. Clara? Where's the wheel? Oops. Oh. Go ahead, Clara. Uh, of course. Uh, I, I'm Jerry. I uh, just... No, no, no. Um, We're just going to oh. the next one. So this, this section here, Clara. Oh, okay. Of course, I will. These are staples. Good. Everton. A four pound can of black olives? That's a staple? George. Lindsay Olives, Jerry. <laughs> Mikiko. 40, 48 pack, 48 pack of Eggo waffles, a gallon barbecue sauce. 10 pounds of cocktail meatballs. Paolo. 7.50? You can't be that. June. Look at this can of tuna. <laughs> Cindy. Uh, I know star kiss Jerry most. Tuna don't make their own cups. Good. Clara. This isn't for a person. This is for biosphere free. Okay. Everton. Hey, Clyde. George. Hey, Grammar. What's happening, dude? Mikiko. Yeah, hey. This is Jerry. Yeah. Uh, Paolo, the next two. How are you doing? Hi. Great. June? You know, guy, he plays back up with John German. Cindy? John Germany? It's amazing. I just, I was just talking about him upstairs with Elin, Elin. And I'll have Clara do the next two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My friend Elin and him are going out. They are pretty hot and heavy. Good. And Everton, the next two. Is that right? Uh, hey, listen. How about you give me a hand? You know, bring some this stuff. And George, finish us out. Oh, no, sorry. My hands are on the Good job. Clara, I can hear you typing. <laughs> okay, let me go back here. You guys did a great job. Cindy, um, I'm going to increase your acting ability. So what, can you see me, Cindy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What are you? What are you? Out of your mind? Out of your mind? What are you? Out of your mind? What are you? Out of your mind? Much better. That's the way you do it. Good job. Let me go to Clara. Clara, I want to hear more R. That British English is coming again. Of course I will. Of course I will. So once again, try this. Core. Course. Yes. Yeah, course. Of course I will. Of course I will. Much better. I'll be watching your R, okay? And I think this was George. Lindsay Olives, Jerry. 
Lindsay Olives, Jerry. They're the best. Lindsay Olives. Lindsay Olives, Jerry. Put it together. Lindsay Olives. Lindsay Olives. Much better. Good. Keep those words together. Good job. Mikiko, watch your L. 48 pack of Eggo waffles. 48 pack of Eggo waffles. A gallon of barbecue sauce. A gallon of barbecue sauce. 10 pounds of cocktail meatballs. And 10 pounds of cocktail meatballs. Cocktail. Cocktail. Tail. Tail. Oh, yeah. Cocktail meatballs. Meatballs. One more time. I'm watching every L, the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. 48 pack of egg waffles. A gallon of barbecue sauce, 10 pounds of cocktail meatballs. Good job. Meatballs. Meatballs. Very good. Very good. Nice. Watch your light L, okay? Yes. Thank you. Paolo. 70. Oh, my. 70, 50. You can't. 50, 50, 50, 17, 50. 17, 50. You can't be that. that. Good, good, good. Hey, hey, coach. Yeah. May I share with somebody? Hurry. Come on, man. This is the voice guy. Hello, Mr. Hi, Dan. nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Daniel. I love I'm your wrong. radio show. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. You know some English, as you I can see. It. I love it. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Your, your the voice was great. Thank you. That's <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, bum bum. That June, no problem. Cindy, no problem. Clara, this isn't for a person. This isn't for for a person. Good. That R again. One more time. This isn't for a person. This isn't for a person. Good. Person. Person. Good. Do you have Costco in Hong Kong? Uh, no, 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 no. No, no. Do you have anything like Costco? If, uh, many, many years ago, yes, Walmart. But no, it's uh, no, no more. Ah, so you did have Walmart, but it's gone. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. You don't need it. Hong Kong has enough stores. I like the sentence. Too many. Yes. Very good. At, at the beginning, you cannot hear my voice because I plug in a microphone and use another to talk. Very good. You have a. It's a better system. Okay. Okay. Who was this? I think it was Everton. Uh, me. June. No. Okay. June. Yeah. How do you say this guy's name? John German. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I can't remember that. John German. Read this sentence. German. John married John Jane. Okay. Try again. John married Jane. Terrible. Okay. I know. <laughs> I'm teasing. So this is an A, ah, a short O, and this is an O, a long O. Try again. John Mary Joan. Good. John Mary Joan. John Mary Joan. Good. So we have two spellings for John. We can also say like this. Same thing. And this is Germain. So John Germain. John Germain. Get that ah. John Germain. John Germain. He plays backup with John Germain. He plays backup with John Germain. Perfect. There you go. Very good. Very good, Chicago. Cindy. <laughs> John Germain? John Germain. Great. 
I was just talking about him upstairs with Elaine. I was just talking about him upstairs, upstairs with Elaine. Good. Be more human. One more time. I was just talking. I was just talking. I was just talking about him. I was just talking about him. Upstairs. Upstairs. With Elaine. With Elaine. Good. Put the TH together. With Elaine. With Elaine. With Elaine. Good. Upstairs with Elaine. Upstairs with Elaine. Good. One more time. Upstairs with Elaine. Upstairs with Elaine. Much better. Let's try the whole thing. I was just talking about him upstairs with Elaine. I was just talking about him upstairs with Elaine. Much better. Good job, Cindy. Let me go to Clara. Going out. Going out. Put it together. Going out. Going out. You're doing this. Going out. Going out. I want going out. Going out. Going out. Going out. Yes. My friend Elaine and him are going out. My friend Elaine and him are going out. Elaine and him. Elaine and him. Put it together. Elaine and him. Elaine and him. Good. My friend Elaine and him are going out. My friend Elaine and him are going out. Great job. Very good. Let me go to Everton. Everton, how about giving me a hand? How about giving me a hand? Great. You know, bring some of this stuff upstairs. You know, bring some of this stuff up. Uh, you know, bring some of this stuff upstairs. So, you're doing good. Some of this, some of this. But what's the faster way to say it? What's the faster way? Some of this. Yes, we can cancel this V, right? Yes. So try again. Bring some of this stuff upstairs. You know, bring some of this stuff up. Uh, You're still saying. You know, bring some of. It. You're still saying it. So repeat after me. Watch me carefully. Some of this. Some of this. More V. Some of this. Some of this. Good. Now watch. Some of this. 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 Bring some of this. Up, oh, I'm sorry. Bring some of this stuff upstairs. Bring some of this stuff upstairs. One more. Bring some of this stuff upstairs. Great. Perfect. Good job. All right. I'm going to stop. With the uh, talking right there, we have Frank and Estelle. Oh, what a hilarious conversation. I just love the conversation. Questions about anything? June, okay, go ahead. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, Shen, uh, about, about the, uh, the hymn, uh, the word hymn, uh, can we just uh, cut the H sound off in the sentence? <clears throat> Like mm, Elaine and him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and so and, and the and the above sentence. I was just talking about him. So we have the uh, seven H's rule. Do you know the seven H's rule, June? Yes, yes. What is it? What are the seven H's? He, her, him. And he's and he had have and has good. Uh, and what does the rule say? Yeah, if the seven H uh, between the sentence, uh, we can just uh, cut off the H sound. That's right. So if we find a seven H in the middle of a sentence, we can cancel the H. Exactly right. So, uh. Yeah. How do you say that? Talking about him. Perfect. And this one? Elaine and him. Faster. Okay. Elaine and him. And him. And him. Elaine and him. 
Eleven. Yes. So okay. when we cancel the H, it needs to be really fast. We cannot go slow. If we start to slow down, we keep the H. Everybody remember, as a native English speaker, I don't try to cancel the H. It just happens. So if I okay. speak slowly, you're going to hear the H. I was just talking about him. But if I speak really fast, I was just talking about him. The H is going to disappear naturally. So yes, June, you can cancel it if yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fast. Okay, I, I got it. Because I just want to um, con 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 confirm confirm that part because uh, you you haven't mentioned that in your uh, answer part. So, um, but I just try to do that. So, yeah, thank you. Great job, June. June is always yeah. ahead of me. It's scary when the students are smarter and faster than the teacher. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next question. Oh, you know what? Um, I don't know if I was talking about it with you guys, but I have three students uh, who speak Chinese. And I remember a song. I used to go to Hong Kong a lot before 1997. And, uh, and there was a song that I heard playing many times um, in Hong Kong, in the city of Hong Kong. And I finally found it. So I'm really happy. Do you guys know this song? Um, not, uh, I had um, not many times. I had I, I know this song, but I do not heard a lot um, many many times. It's very old. It's already over twenty years old. You like it? Oh, I really liked it. Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, so kind of romantic because this is uh, the song about about love. <laughs> exactly. And it's a Taiwanese guy, uh, yeah. and what's his name? Jason Chang. Uh, I think that's, that's what it was. And then uh, a Hong Kong woman, Karen Mo. Yeah. But I guess both uh, both uh, both people are from uh, Taiwan. I, I guess. Oh, is Karen Mok from Taiwan too? No, yeah, it's yeah, Karen. Yeah. No, no, no. Karen Mok is from Hong Kong. Karen is okay, from Hong okay. Kong. She's a Hong Konger. Yes, but she uh, become popular in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, in Mandarin too. I mean, in, in in Hong Kong, you speak Cantonese, right? Yes. But Cantonese. she speaks Mandarin too. She sings in Mandarin too, right? Yes, but uh, she knows a lot of. I uh, mean, uh, she knows a lot of languages. French or a lot of other languages. Thank you, Mikiko. Yeah, it's a really nice song. I mm -hmm. just remembered it when I was uh, a long time ago. I, yeah, long, long time ago. So I was really happy to find it. So can you understand uh, the meaning of the uh, lyrics? Nothing. Lyrics. <laughs> okay, you just you just but love I, the I feeling. I, the I, tone. I, 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 I means I love you, right? I Kwani. Uh, no. What? What? They say I Kwani. I Kwani. Oh, okay. I Kwani. I guess. And what does it mean? Yeah, uh, mean uh, you you love the person, but is is past. <laughs> That's a really no. complicated sentence. Yes, uh, you 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 love the guy, but uh, that's past. Uh, that's that's before. But now maybe you don't love the guy anymore. I maybe see. you hate the guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wow, guess. powerful. I want me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. That's the only thing I can repeat. Uh, there's a popular uh, popular word in uh, on the internet in China is uh, "ai guo." Ai guo, uh, because sometimes uh, when uh, when the couple want to break up 
always um the person want to say um can i ask you uh, can i ask you one last question and before the person asks the question another guy would say i go you know you, you know you know what you mean it means i don't love you anymore no 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 uh because uh, the one person uh, the one person uh, want to ask a, per, a a question right yeah and then another guy uh would would thought uh, would think that he would uh the the one uh, the one person would, would want to break right. to ask about the question about about uh, do you uh, do you have uh, sorry have you ever loved me before or something so he 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 didn't weigh uh, weigh the person's uh, uh, question and then he just uh, pop out uh, I go uh, loved but maybe the the, the 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 first person doesn't want to uh, uh, ask this question you know <laughs> yeah yeah I love that's the, the, the that's the joke about about Chinese cultural uh, I guess <laughs> I like it very good very good yeah. This is why learning languages is fun. You get to learn not only the language, but the humor and the jokes and the nuance behind it. Very good. So even though there's a couple songs, there's a, a song uh, from Indonesia uh, that I liked. And it was something like Duma or something like that. Um, it was an Indonesian rock song. I have no idea what they were saying, but I really, I really loved it. Um, it was it was great. So even though you don't know the words, you can still kind of feel, uh, you know, the the melody and the mood and everything, which is pretty nice. Question. Sorry. I need to find that Indonesian song. No questions? Hey, uh, Shen, uh, about another question about the less, uh, less, uh, sorry, less part about uh, sponge, sponge worthy part. Yep. Uh, Lena, uh, the scene in the scene, Lena. Uh, in in Nina's apartment, uh, Jerry uh, go to Nina want to say break up, right? Yeah. And then Nina, uh, he uh, she she just washed uh, her her sweater, right? And and her let the the, the water running. So I guess um, I guess this part uh, proved that she's so vain because uh, she she shows that she's um, earth earth concerned or something but uh, in her apartment he just let the water run to wash the sweater or something so i guess uh, because in the in the beginning part you just you just uh, ask uh, do you think uh, nina uh, is ben is so ben i guess uh, that's the question in the scene and and i and i and i can i can i can get the point that you 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 said before the uh, uh, sign sign um, sorry, Seinfeld is the great, uh, the great sitcom. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just get the part. Yeah, it's the way they connect things. There's so many hidden, you know, stories. If you look for them, you can see. And exactly, the water running is completely yeah. irony if she's an environmental person. It's exactly. Yes. Yes, I, I, I just, he just uh, so, so um, superficial. The it's word superficial. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, superficial. <laughs> that's I want to, I, I want to share uh, my my feeling because one, uh, when I learned this part, I just, I just get wow, Nina, you are so vain. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Great job. That's exactly right, June. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me uh, this evening or this morning over in Asia. Cindy and Makiko are super tough. They joined me 
uh, early in the morning and again at a little bit better of a, a morning time. I hope that uh, June, Clara, and Sydney, uh, Cindy, I hope you have an excellent uh, Sunday. I hope that your Sunday is wonderful. And Everton, George, Paolo, uh, I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday night. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, Cochin. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye. 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 See ya.